Tonight we're going to be making fusilli with five cheeses and a homemade Caesar salad. Welcome back to Easy Cuisine. I'm Jenny. Let's get started. We're going to start by putting all of our ingredients for the five cheese pasta into this big bowl. I've got two cups of heavy whipping cream. And yes, I know this seems heavy. This recipe comes from Ina Garden, the Barefoot Contessa, and I actually lightened it up a bit. But it's so delicious with all these five cheeses. It's a gourmet version of a mac and cheese that's definitely worthy of a dinner party. I also have here one cup of San Marzano crushed tomatoes. I have one half cup freshly grated Pecorino Romano cheese. So here's cheese number one. A half of cup of grated Fontina cheese, Italian Fontina cheese. You will need to find this in the gourmet cheese section of your grocery store and you'll have to grate it yourself. It's very easy to get a half cup. And Fontina is one of the best meltable cheeses and it tastes delicious. So a half cup of that. And one fourth cup of crumbled gorgonzola. You can find that already crumbled. Two tablespoons of ricotta. And this recipe leaves a lot of cheese left over because you're only using two tablespoons of the ricotta. But ricotta goes great on toast. You can make pizzas with it. I try and plan around some other meals when I make this dish. And this is uh, mozzarella. And you want to get the good mozzarella that's packed in water. I chose to use an eight ounce tub of the pearl size, you know, little mini balls of mozzarella. And I drained the water and then I chopped it into smaller pieces so it will melt more evenly. And that's your last cheese. You got all five cheeses in there. Don't miss any of them. And we want to stir that together. And we're going to add salt to taste, but you want to get it nice and mix. And the gorgonzola gives it a little bit of salt and the pecorino romano does too. But I find that about a teaspoon of salt is perfect. I'm going to add that and give that a stir. Perfect. All those cheeses blend beautifully together with that heavy cream and those tomatoes. Now that you've got that, I have already pre-boiled uh, a pound of fusilli pasta, which is the corkscrew kind of pasta. You can use penne in this dish. You only want to boil it for about eight minutes. You want to leave some cooking time for it to bake with the pasta. So once you have your cooked pasta, I'm now going to add that to the bowl and get that nice and mixed in. Get all that cheese mixed in there. I like to use the fusilli because it has those ridges in there that will pick up the sauce and melt inside there. Okay, and then I've got a casserole dish here that I've sprayed with cooking spray. And we're going to Put the pasta mixture right into the pan. So this is gonna go into an oven at 400 degrees. I like to do it for eight minutes at 400, then take it out and stir it so that you're getting even more of the melted cheese mixed around. And then I raise the heat to 450 for the last eight minutes. So eight minutes on 400, eight minutes on 450, and then you're good to go. So let's put this in the oven. So while the pasta is baking, I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite homemade Caesar salad dressing. This recipe comes from one of my favorite food bloggers, Once Upon a Chef. And it's easy, it's creamy, it's not too fishy, and you can leave the um, anchovy paste out if you want. I'm actually gonna make it that way. My family is not a big fan of anchovies even though I love them and I even think it tastes perfect without the anchovy paste, but feel free to add it. 
We're gonna start here, this is so easy. We've got a medium bowl that I have two garlic cloves minced. I have one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice. So you wanna start there and get that whisked together. And then you're simply going to add one cup mayo, good mayo. I use Veginase. And this is a way to make an eggless Caesar dressing. You know, in the fancy uh, restaurants, they use the raw egg, which is a fabulous way. Um, this, I think, tastes just as good. And it will stay fresh in your refrigerator for up to a week. So I've got one cup mayo. And I'm also going to whisk in half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And one fourth teaspoon each, kosher salt and freshly ground pepper. So one fourth teaspoon of each. And just mix that really smooth and there you go. It's super creamy and delicious, um, and you will have leftovers. This serves about 10 small salads. So there's your dressing, and I've got my salad ready to go. Um, you could add anything to your salad. Um, I just have some freshly cut romaine, and I have a little bit of extra grated Parmesan that I'll sprinkle on top. So that's it, we're just waiting for the pasta to cook. Okay, so the pasta's come out of the oven and I'm just bringing that fresh pasta underneath up to the top, mixing it up. I've turned the oven back up to, uh, up to 450 and I'm gonna put it back in for another eight minutes. Look at the bubbly cheese, a little brown on top. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of basil on top. That adds great flavor. Oh, it smells so good. of gorgonzola, the sweetness of the tomatoes, the cream, the melted mozzarella, little basil on top. Fantastic. Enjoy your dinner. Look a little closer. It's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say. Straight before this 